Dudes and dudettes of YouTube lane, I am back with the confusion knife, with the knife that sparked some confusion in all of the YouTube land. Yes, it did. In all of the knife community, is this the epooch? Is this the epoch? Is this the epic? What is it? I don't know. Let's freaking open it up and check it out. Bam. Is this not some wicked futuristic looking, I don't know type of stuff right here? What? This is like army-ish? Futuristic, straight up cool badassery. This is an Ontario Knife Company epic. This is a freaking cool little knife. It's not little, little. Uh, let me see here. Let me find. Here we go. Look. I thought I was going to walk off to go grab a folder. So look at the size difference in them. Here you go. You see what I'm saying? So it's not little, but it's not large. It's, it's like little, medium, medium, little. <laughs> this is that Kubi right here I've been putting through hell i am edcing this thing like you wouldn't imagine guys i can't wait to review it after i do a little bit more with it i'm gonna give you guys a full-on review so this is the epic it's got d2 blade steel i feel this feels like g10 scales it's got a frame lock now i have never looked up any information whatsoever on this at all so here you go right here it says uh, it's made in china no problem at all it's it's something very different from ontario right tell me it's not so Ontario's came out with two knives lately that just do not look like an Ontario knife and both happen to be folders. So let me look. Let me look up in here. So this is running on. I don't know, guys. That could be bearings up in there. Look, I can't really tell. Uh, I should get my little EDC flashlight out right here. Shout out to Roe Vivon. Should get this little guy out and look up in there one time. Well, I can't tell. It's so damn bright. What do you know? shaking the camera and all but what i will tell you is look at the blade stock on this tell me that thing is not ready to slice it's still on the factory edge what the heck did i just do caught it on a little sharpening choice what i did this is a sharp 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 little guy i keep saying little but it ain't little at all it's really not a little knife let me get right here now you guys you guys already know i can't cut paper to save my life if you paid me 500 dollars to cut paper properly i'm probably not gonna make 500 dollars now, I'll be damned. You know, I'm going to make that 500. Y'all already know what it is around here. What's the point EDZ? You put some money in my face, I'm going to get it. <laughs> By any means necessary. Let me stop cutting, guys. I almost just was like rambling and just cutting. Like, you know, it's just so much fun to cut. So this looks like T6 hardware right here. That looks like a nice T8 or so. Uh, let's talk about the action real quick. That is an odd way. Like, everything about this knife is odd. It's just odd. It's got an odd looking pocket clip with no no mushroom sticking out the shade. So it's not inset, but that's okay. You know, that's not the biggest deal. It's got a cool little frame lock going on. It's got an odd blade shape, but it does have a good sharpening choil. Shout out to freaking Ontario. They did look at this nice sharpening choil. They did it good. Plunge grinds back. Look where the plunge grind is. The plunge grinds goes back, so you're not gonna hit it on your stone. Good to freaking go, Ontario. And this knife was like 30 bucks. I think it was like 30 bucks. I mean, I bought it a while ago. I just threw it to the side, honestly. It's what I did. I kind of just threw it to the side. It's smooth. I mean, like, oddly smooth. Whoa. Let's see what this lockup's looking like. What's that, 50%? That's 50% lockup, guys. That's really good. Let's go ahead and admit it. That This is an ugly-looking, little weird-looking, space futuristic-looking army knife. But it's done well. It is so slim. Let me get, Let me grab this one right here. Look at that. Look how thick the Kubi is compared to that. And the Kubi is not a thick knife. It is a deep belly, deep bladed, deep, uh, it's deep right here like this, but it's not a thick knife. See, this is just about the same size when it comes to this. In fact, it is bigger. It's actually deeper, but it is so slim in the pocket. I mean, this is excellent. So, uh, let's, let me show you about one more bigger knife. Oh, oh, did I just whip that out? Oh yeah. You know what's coming tomorrow. Video on the Boker Dree discontinued. Oh, yeah, you guys know what time it is. The Boker Plus Tree. This is a Mikhail Williamson design video on this bad boy tomorrow, but more on that tomorrow, not right now. Back to the freaking epic, the epoch. So it's got a little texturing look. There's your texture vision. Listen, it's got a little texturing. Uh, you can get a forefinger on there. I mean, you're kind of hanging, but I mean, if you choke up, or choke up, I mean, if you squeeze good, you might be able to get four in there. If you have an extra large hand, I mean, you might have a little bit of a trouble, but 
Damn it, fish, ain't a cool, weird knife. It is just very slicey. I mean, it's it's very slicey. Look, look at how it locks up and listen. Give it to you one more time, watch. Not bad, not freaking bad. This thing, like I said, was like 30 bucks. Not bad. So basically, if you're cutting with this, see it's like recurved, so it's gonna trap the materials in, and as you're cutting, it's just going to pull it into the blade so you're not going to lose it. You know what I mean? So it's just good. Something with a blade shape like this is very good for EDCing, especially for cardboard tasks when you're cutting that because it traps the cardboard. You know, it just does a good job of what it does. So I don't even know what to call this blade shape. I'd almost call it a, uh, you know, I'm not even going to call it anything because I don't even know what to call it. Somebody put it in the comments and tell me what you think this blade shape's called. Once I get done the video, I'm going to do what I should have done months ago. It's just check out the information on this little guy, which I should have done, but I didn't do, guys. I mean, hey, it is what it is, right? We all don't always do what we're supposed to do. But it's a snappy one. Um, so if you look right here, when you look at this flipper tab, check it out. So you have your pivot up here, right? Here's your pivot. You would expect it to be up a little bit higher by the way it snaps out because you're not getting the best amount of... Um, what do you call it? Uh, I'm at a loss for words. Why am I doing this right now? Is it because the camera's on? I mean, who knows? But you're you're at a loss of force when it's like that because it's not at its best placement. Oh, it sounds so dumb right now, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. You would typically want this to be up higher so that you can get the best amount of like oomph behind your opening, but it actually works really well. And Ontario probably thought this through. I mean... I don't know, guys. Put it in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. It looks cool. It looks futuristic. It looks army-ish. You know, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Tell me if you guys would own this. Would you EDC this? Would you choose to cut some cardboard with this? Now, it does have one, two. It's got two standoffs going on, two barrel spacers in there. One and two right there. You know, so it's cool. It's not bad at all. I, I think this is a cool little knife. Okay, seven minutes in, and we're still yapping about this freaking epic. Ontario Knife Company hit it out the park with this one, though, so it's okay, guys. And everybody's probably wanting to know what the hell this thing is anyway, so you're enjoying it. With that being said, guys, I'm up out of here. There'll be more on this, and uh, of course, you know, I'm going to give it its hard use. I'm going to do all that stuff, guys. That's what we do here at What's the Point EDC. I give you what you want, because I got what you need. <laughs> all right, let me knock it off. All right, look, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. Get the help you truly deserve so you can live your best life. If you're struggling with bad thoughts, please reach out and talk to somebody. Okay, it gets better. It doesn't end here. It begins here. You know, it's going to be okay, everybody. That's all I got to say about that much right there. Much love and I'm out. We're going to go ahead and fade to frame lock. Ontario Knife Company Epic Frame Lock, that is.